So imagine that you have a virtual space where people all start vibrating together, building on energy together. You basically are creating waves. You can see, for example, already there are experiments with 1,000 people meditating in New York, and you can see crime rates going down. It's amazing what actually is done. Hi there, Adrian here, and this is a video from a Zoom session that we do. We do these Zoom sessions every Sunday and we take questions and answers from the audience. Some of our students, some of our members. We never know what questions are coming up. So I'm always excited to do these sessions and I hope to see you at one of them. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below and check out the other playlists that we have. Thank you, enjoy. Networking for me and connecting people is something which is um, a very, has a very deep place in my heart. I've always liked to connect people and I find, I feel that in the world of today, connecting people is more important than ever before. The exact reason why people joined extremist organizations that can be so cruel, that they did this out of a sense of desire for belonging, because feeling lonely, feeling disconnected, uh, having no identity or purpose. So networking is a way not only to help yourself, but also to help others to connect. And today, these days with COVID, this is actually more important than ever. Does this resonate with you? Is this something that you knew was the case? Did it surprise you? Uh, I experienced uh, social VR, maybe for the first time, um, about five or six weeks ago, where you actually embody uh, 3D avatars and um, you can move your hands and you can actually shake people's hands you can nod at people, you can have a conversation, you could have like three different people and you could actually turn to whoever's talking and the avatars have moving eyes. So it's, and, and they blink, That's, those are automatic, um, but it's it has a sense of real telepresence. And yeah, like I said, you could hug people and you could shake their hand, give them thumbs up and you could, shout out emojis and everything and I was very surprised this is an alt space VR I was extremely surprised at the sense of connection and being in the same room as somebody this is something that um, in synchronicity or serendipity as I say it over the last couple of weeks with several people from Shanghai University and you see one guy there, Brian, and Robo actually is his friend, his colleague. Um, I've been playing with different things, different technologies to figure out how can we connect people. And um, I just wanna raise this as one example of what is possible these days. This is a headset, just like what you're using gaming, but it includes EEG, it includes um, actually devices, that allows you to measure the heart brain coherence, the brain sequence, the brain frequency. Can you imagine in the world of today where social media no longer exists, because I don't call them social media, I call them anti-social media. Can you imagine in a world of today where every politician is at least where there are elections. Every politician is trying to kind of blame another politician. You see extrapolation, you see extremism. Sadly, um, I see East and West discrepancy. Now, I have family in Europe and in China, for example, I call these places both my home. And yet I see a lot of, let's just say hatred, let's even say anger or prejudice against people that have another idea or another color or whatever. Can you imagine going into a world totally delabeled? You go into a virtual space, 
It has no color. Nobody knows where you're coming from, east or west. You're basically just an avatar. And just like Robo said, there is a space now which is really interesting. Actually, Dragon Burn, Dragon Burn this year didn't happen because it wasn't possible for COVID. But you know what? It did happen. It happened in the virtual space. There are like an amazing amount of rooms, such an amount of creativity of rooms in the virtual space. Now, there are little avatars in there that we are playing with. These avatars, they have like little wings. These wings, they tell you if somebody is happy or not, because this device can actually measure that. You meet someone who is happy, smiling at you, but actually you can see the wings when you start vibrating together, when you start connecting with each other. There's music playing, there's visuals playing that actually allow you to connect. So it's a bit of a dream, but Shanghai Singularity University already has a proof to look at it. So this is something that we're gonna, gonna do and where we are actually finding new ways to connect people. We are actually even using artificial intelligence that is understanding the emotion behind the, the language, facilitating people to connect. Now, the funny thing is, as I mentioned just before, your brain in an uncomfortable situation can express feelings in your belly, in your body, but you can also actually increase energy in your body because that's what people in some parts of the world, whether it's China with Qigong, whether it's, for example, India with Prana, they are able to increase energy. So what we are actually are preparing, and we actually know this because this is also something that uh, Georgia knows, there are processes that actually allow you to harvest energy and to turn that energy in resonance because when brains get into theta frequency, actually you can call upon that energy. So imagine that you have a virtual space where people all start vibrating together, building on energy together. You basically are creating waves. You can see, for example, already there are experiments with 1000 people meditating in New York and you can see crime rates going down. It's amazing what actually is done. Boom! You made it here. Good on you. Make sure you click the subscribe button below and check out the playlist at the end. If you'd like to come along to our Sunday sessions where we host a live free Q&A for our students and members, you're welcome. I'll see you there.